So the last presentation is what was. And this is all about what could be. I, I don't know if you remember uh, HP's had a whole marketing program on what if. Uh, what if we did this? Or what if you could do this and then use an HP product to do it? Uh, so in that vein, this is what if we could have another model in the Voyager series. The goal would be to create a new Voyager format calculator that followed previously proven interesting function sets. And it would be unlikely that a Voyager, it would be likely that a Voyager model, a new Voyager model, would not have a huge volume. Okay, so you'd want to maximize the leverage of an existing module, model. Okay, uh, multiple HP calculators extended the business calculator function set by adding trig and statistics. The, the 91 I talked about was a business calculator that had, that had trig. The 27 is a, a business scientific that had trig and the financials. Uh, the 21 uh, had trig and statistics, uh, yeah, but it was algebraic. Uh, and then the later versions of the HP calculator, these, these versions of the HP calculators, business calculators also had trig. So there's a lot of precedent for, for putting trig on a business calculator to make a business plus technical. So uh, prove an interesting function set. There's lots of precedents that say add trig and probability distributions. Uh, maximize leverage. What, what would that mean? Well, you'd go, the goal would be no electronics or display changes, no key changes. No key changes, key label changes. You assume it's okay to change the keyboard overlay and additional firmware that will fit. One of the advantage of no key changes is, is you avoid the, the whole conflict of, of arguing about which, which should be there and, and people can get pretty excited about that over time. Okay, so let's start with uh, Swiss Micros DM11 as uh, DM12L as is. Okay. This is a proposal for a DM17. It would have most of the 27's probability functions. So the Z, the normal, the T, the F, chi square. Uh, it has most of their, most of the 27's function, most of the HP 27's functions, and it would have the 21's probability distributions. Has all of the 12 except F star, how many know, people know what F star does on a 12? F number. What does F number do on a 12? It sets the number of decimal places in the display. So F3 sets it to three decimal places. So it doesn't have that function. Uh, that's the only function that you lose on the 12, okay? And changes firmware and overlay only. None of the keys, none of the key labels changed, okay? And it's, so it would be compatible with the existing 12C programs. And it has historically standard labels, except FSE and DRG, which is our three-way toggle between fixed science and engineering and degrees, radians, grads. Every other label on here has been on a HP calculator before. Okay, uh, we could do more. Okay, with that same keyboard, uh, you could implement X factorial instead of N factorial and leave the label alone. Uh, you could also you, you see the the this row of uh, clear functions, clear sum, program, find. You could also do something with that that would actually, and you do, we could do this on a 12, that would make it, the calculator a lot more user friendly. Okay, you could do, if you did recall and find financials, you could display using the alpha capability that's already there on the display, the label, the financial label and the value, and then cycle through the different, the different things where you could use plus to speed it up or minus to slow it down or run stop to stop it or 
on to interrupt it. So this would be a day, basically a way to review the financial registers, or you recall some to review the summation registers, or recall registers to review all of the registers one at a time. A reminder on the 12, the registers can be used for cash flows. And on, on the more recent versions of the 12, you, you not only have these base registers, but you have additional registers that cash flows can be in. So you could have a large number of cash flows in a 12, uh, which are quite frankly hard for the user to keep track of. This would be a way to allow you to, to step through and see all of it. You could do recall program uh, to, to have it step through and show you the, the, the different program steps uh, and display the program as alpha, not just the, the key code numbers, because the display would support it. Uh, you could also do recall prefix to, to look at the stack, sort of like the printing calculators uh, all have a print stack function. Now, uh, by the way, just in case you weren't aware, the idea that uh, we could extend the 12C is not new. Uh, actually, the calculator user community actually presented to HP in 2006 this proposal for a 12C+. It has uh, new programming functions, go sub and return, and, and uh, the comparisons. It adds uh, permutation combinations, log, and uh, uh, linear regression, and it adds this, the uh, trig functions. It does not add uh, rectangular polar. Uh, it, it has degrees, radians, and grads, and it's got uh, the, the fixed key for, uh, for display. Now, you say, well, d what happened with this? Well, what happened with this was HP decided not to do this, but they did take the input to heart, and those new HP business units I mentioned that had trig and in addition to the business stuff, those all came out after this proposal. So the user community actually did make a difference in terms of providing some inputs about some things that it wanted. One question? Yeah. The blue shift division key is that kind of undo or? Oh, yes, that's, that's actually on the, that's, that's not new to, uh, as a part of this proposal, that's a part of the, the 12C Platinum function set. And that is an undo uh, that undoes the last operation, as opposed to this, which is a back shift which when you're entering a number, if you go one, two, four, and you really wanted one, two, three, you can back over that and put that in. And that's like what's on the 15. As we know, it's not the other voltage. Hmm? As we, the back. The back, the back is, is also on the platinum. Uh, and on the 15, actually. But not on the 12, the original 12. Hmm. Okay, so I did, since I had both Swiss Micros and uh, HP representatives potentially floating around in my audience, I did versions of this that were based on Swiss Micros and on, uh, on HP. So this is the, the version of that same thing that was for HP. Uh, a fun fact, uh, HP has, has announced at the London and, and US conferences that they're going to be doing a 15. And it's already in prototype, and uh, it uses the hardware from the 12. You, you remember where I mentioned how much uh, RAM and, and flash was in these units. There's more than enough to, 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 to implement a 15. So uh, this could be equally an HP project or a Swiss Micros project. I don't care. I just won't buy one. Uh, so this is a 12, and uh, just because... Uh, you, you don't, HP doesn't want to make people choose between RPN and algebraic. You could, this is a version that actually does, uh, has all of the uh, keys necessary to do algebraic as well as RPN.
<laughs> this is like, when can I order one? Uh, I, I want something that does both. Uh, uh, by the way, an even less likely what if is, there's enough keys here, if, if you're willing to change keys, to do uh, in a Voyager format, uh, something like the, the, the 30, the, what was in the, the 34. And I'd like one of those too. Okay. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can. Let's see. For the new 12. Yeah. If you. Uh, where is it? The the picture I showed of the. If you look at the PC board, the HP PC board, you can see it has. It actually has a. The PC board has programming on it. It has has a place that you could program it. Six pins. Yeah. You also need a software development system. Six pins alone are probably the best. Which 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 HP has? Now, so right now, uh, Moravia and Swiss Micros are both working on products in this in this space. Uh, uh, Moravia might be a little ahead in that they have developed a library of calculator functions. So on the software side, as opposed to HP, which has been leveraging the originally developed software and, and using emulation to, to do it. So in terms of adding capability to the calculators, the, the Swiss Micros team and the, the, the calculator library actually gives them some, a heads up on perhaps doing a, a, a new and different model. So can I add a bit to that question? The, um, the software kit is the same as the 20B software development kit, but I think it's only the 12C model with the single coin cell. I, I think when they went to the double coin cell version, they took that port out. Um, so it's not there on the circuit board. Whereas on the single coin cell one, I think it is, or it might be in as a, a socket so you can actually clip in. You don't have to solder in, but on the, the double coin cell one, you have to solder on. And I'm not sure it's even supported on the latest 12C. So it was only for a very short period was it available, and then you have to try and find one on eBay if you want to program your own. And I don't think the original ROM was ever released, so if you do erase it, you can't put it back again. But I might be wrong on that. KT Wasserman, I think, has all the details, so... On, on her site somewhere, you, you might find an original one to put back if you make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. this is the, the one coin cell one that had the programming port. Okay, thanks all.